Welcome. All right, so I started recording this video about 20 minutes ago. I've been doing some experiments. What's good? What was the good things? What, what were bad things? How to beat this battle on, on, on a beginner account? And uh, the thing that I arrived on is going to be Shang Tsung is way too unreliable. We need a reliable source of snare and we need a reliable source of uh, incurability. And Joker is the best one by far. If you don't have any incurability gear, his uh, juice basically stop the regeneration so all we need is snare we need ermac for some 10 percent extra free damage why not and uh, if you don't have any, any incurability gear you're gonna be in trouble even with the joker it's really deep like the problem is the other two the problem is random tagging if there was no random tagging it wouldn't matter but there is so it does so we're gonna start with raiden we're gonna basically uh try to apply uh as, as this as soon as possible to apply the the thing the snare i also gonna give him my maxed out my token snake skin which i know a lot of people will not have but it makes things easier so if you have anything if you have any piece that can apply incurability on anything give it to your starting character try to apply incurability as soon as possible if you don't have it Use MK1 Shang Tsung and try to start him with special 2 so he can apply his incurability immediately. Basically, the goal is to apply snare and incurability as soon as possible. Incurability first, snare second. So this is what I'm using because it literally works and it makes sense. Uh, I also want my characters to be easily killable. This is not the battle to use shields. This is not the battle to use uh, revivals. You want your team to be very easily killable because if you have a weak account, you are going to rely on uh, classic or damage for the most part and potentially maybe a little damage you're going to do with your characters. But prioritize being... like You have to be able to bail quickly. It's extremely important. In case things go wrong, you want to you wanna make sure that you can kill kill your whole team off in like 10-15 seconds before the incurability expires. That's that's essential. Also, highly recommend giving two block breaker pieces to your characters because uh, a lot of them are resistant to it. So we're gonna for Raiden. Uh, I guess I'm gonna give him. Uh, I'm gonna start him with. Actually, I'm gonna start him with a bar of power just in case. Uh, just in case I need to get him to special two in case his. Uh, weak point attack doesn't proc on his passive so we're gonna give him this and we're gonna give him uh i guess soul medallion for extra power generation where is it there we go uh now ermac rock and bowling stones for some extra block breaker ermac gear doesn't doesn't really matter i'm not even gonna give him armor i need this man to die quickly also, if you are using Classic Ermac strategy, one tip would be to use this, uh, uh, this nice little talent, which will require you to rearrange your whole talent tree, which right now is bugged and I honestly don't want to do it. But if you want to make things easier, give your uh, equip a Spirit of Vengeance, you're going to have a good chance that uh, you're going to deal massive damage to your enemy if somebody on your team dies. Once again, I'm not going to do it just because... Every time I try to rearrange my talent tree, I lose talent points, so I'm not touching it. Thank you very much. And Joker here, basically for the juice. So I, I'm not going to give him varmints like he had, even though it would be nice. Uh, I will, however, give him... Since I have it, once again, it's going to make my life so much easier. Relentless, Restless Ninja's Call to Arms to apply basically guaranteed snare on Special 1. Just an extra source of snare. If there is any way you can increase your chances of applying snare, use it. Uh, I'm also going to give him double block breaker just so I can make sure that I can do things. Oh, wait, I can't. I don't have any more accessories that have block breaker. Anyway, I'm just going to give him... Imagine if ceremonial pipe could actually interrupt. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to give him extra damage. I'm just going to give him uh, accessory from Black Dragon Tower. The best that I have. Psych Bomb. Might as well. Or, or Smuggler Slot because we're going to be using special one. Maybe it's going to do some good damage. Even though Psych Bomb is better because it has a chance to stun them and tag. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. And now maybe he will contribute a little bit of damage to the classic Ermac. Alright, so this is my strategy. Let's see if it works. It probably 
not gonna work and I'm gonna have to change it, but this is what we're gonna try. So I'm, I'm just sticking out with Raiden until I apply Snare. I have 15 seconds thanks to my token thing. Okay, I'm just gonna apply Snare. I'm gonna do special 2. And then I'm just praying I take the Joker. If I don't, we're in trouble. Perfect. Venom deck apply. If my Joker dies, it's even better. And now I just... I don't know. I, I could try to survive for the next 13 seconds. But if I don't, it's not a big deal. Also, I can't afford for him to take out because his the deck is going to get cancelled. And now you can kill me, sir. Because the the deck is about to expire and we're at 30 seconds. 13% damage. 7 more battles to kill this man. 14 more battles to kill the other two men. Thank you, Mortal Kombat, for this incredible, super fun, incredible... Incredible, incredible battle. <laughs> Seriously though, this should be illegal. Now you can definitely try to do fancier strategies. If your Joker is stronger, you can actually try to build a team where you can try to survive longer. Uh, which is totally acceptable as well. I'm just gonna let my Raiden die now. Perfect. Venom deck. Apply, uh, apply another snare. Another Venom deck, another Snare, just just doing some extra damage with my Joker, why not? Or I'm just gonna let Ermac die because why not? I have I have Snare and, and deck going. Uh, let's let's go for the final Venom deck, and if I die, I die. Oh crap. Yeah, good enough for me. I might as uh, I'm gonna waste a lot of tries, but at least I don't have to worry. The, there's it, the strategy is literally foolproof. You're guaranteed to finish it. It's just gonna take a buttload of tries. Yeah, you can actually deal some decent damage with Joker while you're waiting for the card to expire. Okay, now he can kill me. Kill me! Holy crap! Woo! Healed him one percent. Damn it! Slowly but surely, we are destroying the first character. To be honest, it's way too slowly. I, I wish it was faster. There's not much you can do. Go for Venom deck here. Gonna go for special two here. Yeah, the Scorpion is pretty much dead. That is good. We're gonna explode in his face and he's gonna die. Bye bye! Gonna go for Venom deck here. Alright, let's start doing some damage to this man. Grinning deck activated. No! My potion! <laughs> We're about to drop the Shang boy. Maybe even in this fight. Yeah, this strategy works really well. It's pretty much 100% consistency. There's nothing that can roll, that can go wrong with this. You just do this. You get kicked in the face sometimes. It's fine. You die. You, you already put the card in. So now you just... The worst thing that can happen is you die a couple seconds early. That's literally the worst that can happen. The best that can happen... You survive for a minute and a half and your joker just gets your opponent and stop stun loop. It happens half of the times, I would say. It could probably happen more if I maybe was a little bit more specific with the gear that I chose. But I figure it's five tries more, five tries less. Not going to make a world of difference. The most important part, we're getting through this battle slowly but surely. And this battle for sure is going to take the most amount of tries that any battle have ever taken me in history of this account. Which is a pretty cool achievement, let's be honest. Yeah, when I don't get attacked by Aaron Black, I, I, I do just fine. Yep, this guy is dead. Fantastic. 
say good night to a little friend. All right, let's apply incurability to this fool. And let's start pummeling his face with fists. Boom. Should deal some decent damage to him. Yeah, three cards are gonna last for a very long time. Surprisingly long time. And also with Joker, it's pretty easy to do just special two stun loops, so... Ooh, I messed up. Ah, I messed up. I, I let him heal everything. Oh well. I wasn't paying attention to the timer. That's my bad. Let's just do a couple more special twos and then die. I could also give my Joker Prince's Guard. That way, even when he runs out of uh, juice, he could still apply guaranteed... Uh, Guaranteed incurability on special two. Oh come on! Ah, he healed everything. Never mind. Yeah, this one, this one was a bad example. But anyway, we got two characters down. I do have Prince's Guard at Fusion One, so I could get myself guaranteed seven seconds of incurability for the whole enemy team. So if you have Prince's Guard at any Fusion, this battle is going to be absolute piece of cake. You can literally give it to Joker. And just spam his special to just get your enemy in the stun loop. Aaron Black is gonna make it a little bit difficult, but not too not too difficult. You should be able to, like, it's not lethal. His shots are not lethal, so you still should be able to get through it. Anyway, let's beat this piece of garbage. Final battle. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. Almost 30 tries. I think 29 tries it took me to beat it. And I feel like on, the, on my second try it will definitely be faster because I... Uh, basically, I learned a bunch of tricks and a bunch of small details that's going to make this run much easier. For example, give Joker uh, Dark Mantle if you have it. It's going to make your life so much better. It's going to change your life. Just trust me on that one. Alright. Let's just finish this man. He's going to blast me with X-Ray. Perfect. We're going to blast him with the Explosion. Now we're going to throw another card. Like, you, you just get better with timings the more you play this battle. Oops. <laughs> Said me and absolutely missed my timings. Okay, 5%. Can Joker do this? Absolutely. If you're asking this question, you have no idea what Joker is capable of, ladies and gentlemen. He can do that with his eyes closed. Wakey, wakey, baby. All right, let's finish this. Two more special twos. And he is hasta la vista. Okay, three more special twos. Fine. It's fine. I feel disgusting doing this, but also I feel beautiful. Ooh, such a perfect timing! <gasps> he started healing there for a second. If that final hit didn't finish him, he would heal back to 100%. Excellent. I was playing with fire. <sighs> what do I want? Obviously, I want him to kill one Shang Tsung. I think he's a great card, and I would love to get an extra fusion on him in this account. Come on. I'll take Psych Bomb. I actually just dropped another Psych Bomb for one of the losses in this battle. Which was pretty cool. So, I, I, uh, the Battle 200 gave me two Psych Bombs. Isn't that sick? Oh. I mean, it's a rare pay-to-win card, but I will never use MK1 Scorpion. I just haven't found a good use to him yet. I, would, I really wanted to get MK1 Shang Tsung. Oh well, maybe on my second try, which... I'm definitely going to do. I now know how to beat every single battle, and it's just going to be a walk in the park. The first one was pretty difficult, but uh, I know now that I can do it, and I have saved the perfect team for every battle. So yeah, if you guys have any trouble with any battles, I'm going to have a guide on every single one of them coming out. So subscribe to the channel, and let me know what team did you use to beat Battle 200 in Black Dragon Tower. 
And do you think this battle is way too difficult and way too unreasonable? I thought so at first, but then I, like, if you just look at it, you're gonna be like, okay, if you don't have any special gear, if you don't have any incurability gear, if you don't have Joker, if you don't have Shang Tsung, if you're a new player, you're not gonna beat it. But let's be honest, if you're a new player, you're not even gonna get to battle 200. I feel like if you're at the point in your journey where you can beat battle 184 and 189 in this tower, you probably have at least some incurability gear, or at least have a Joker. The Joker now drops pretty easily from MK11 pack, so it's not like super difficult card to get anymore. So I feel like it's it's definitely unique experience. One thing I will say, it is not fun. It is, it is not fun whatsoever. It's just monotonous, repetitive, billion try battle. There is nothing difficult in it, there is no skill involved, it's just literally finding a way to chip away a little bit of health in every single battle and sticking to it. So in that, in that sense, I'm kind of disappointed, but let's see, let's see what they come up with next time. I hope it's something a little bit more interesting. Subscribe for more content and a goodbye.